Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to find equilibrium values. If you find it helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. In this example, it says a company wholesales shampoo in a particular city. Their marketing research department established the following weekly supply and demand equations. The price supply at X units is X over 400 plus 1 half. The price demand at X units is 7200 over X. And we're asked how many units are required for supply to equal demand, which is also known as the equilibrium point. So to solve this problem, we're going to definitely need to set the price supply equation equal to the price demand equation. In other words, we know that x over 400 plus 1 half has to be equal to 7200 over x. Now this is an example of a rational equation. That just means that it has fractions in it and it's um, often easiest to begin solving an equation like this one by multiplying both sides of the equation by a specially chosen value that will make all the fractions go away because everybody hates fractions, right? So let's think about what the least common denominator would be for 400 to an x. Well, if I include 400 in the least common denominator, 2 is a factor of that already, so I don't need to include the 2. And then I would also need a factor of x to make the least common denominator. In other words, to make the smallest value I can, so that if I multiply on both sides by that value, it'll make all the denominators cancel out. Because when you multiply on both sides, you have to distribute to every single term. And when you multiply a whole number times a fraction, it goes into the top of the fraction. So what that's going to look like is 400x squared, when you multiply 400x times x, over 400 plus 400x because 400x times 1 is just 400x over 2 equals 7200 times 400x I'll figure out what that is in a minute divided by x but look what all cancels 400 divided by 400 the 2 goes into 400 200 times and the x goes into the x once. So we're left with x squared plus 200x equals 2,880,000. All right, now you might recognize that now we have a very specific kind of equation, a common type of equation called a quadratic equation. And there are many approaches to solving quadratic equations, but in general, you want to get them in what's called standard form, meaning getting equal to zero on one side. And then uh, one possibility is to use the quadratic formula. So I want to remind you what that is. So any quadratic equation, like the one that we have, can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And once you have it written in that form and identify a, b, and c, you know that the solutions will be of the form x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're going to use that formula to solve our quadratic equation. So I'm going to move the 2,880,000 over to the left side of the equation to get 0 on the right. And now I can see that a is 1, b is 200, and c is negative 2,880,000. So let's go ahead and plug that into the quadratic formula. So that gives us x equals negative 200 plus or minus the square root of 200 squared minus 4 times 1, although we don't have to write the 1, times negative 2,880,000 over 2 times 1. So that's just a 2. To simplify this expression, you want to observe the correct order of operations. You're going to work inside of the square root that's acting as a grouping symbol, doing your exponent first 
and then your multiplication, and then your addition or subtraction. So when we square 200 and then add 4 times 2880000, we get 11,560,000. The square root of that is 3,400. So we have two possible solutions, negative 200 minus 3,400 over 2, which would be a negative, so that's not going to work, or negative 200 plus 3,400 over 2, which is going to be 1,600. So that's the number of units at which the price that consumers are willing to pay is the same as the price that suppliers are willing to charge. So that's the answer to part A up here, the number of units, 1,600 units. And then if we wanted to find part B, the price per bottle, we can just plug 1,600 into either the price supply equation or the price demand equation. It looks like the price demand equation would be easier. It's only one operation. So I'm going to find the price at 1,600 by dividing 7,200 by 1,600, which is going to give us 4.5. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.